pause the video, have a go at this question, and then we'll have a look at it together. So we want to calculate the area of triangle X, Y, Z. So because we don't have base and height, this is where we want to use this equation here, which is given on your formula sheet. So the area is half AB sine C. So this includes one of our angles. Now we have this angle here, so we call this angle C. And the two sides adjacent to angle C, we can label as A and B. And we'll just stick it into your equation. So the area is a half times by side A, which we've labelled as 8, times by side B, which we've labelled as 10, times by sine of angle C, which is 79. We type all of that in. We've got half times 8 times 10 times sine 79, which is 39.265. So uh, this one doesn't ask us to round, but I'm just going to do it to one decimal place, which will be 39.3 centimetres squared. Now for part B, we want to calculate the length of YZ. So YZ is this angle, uh, this side here. So I'm going to use X, but this is angle X. So let's just call this, um, we'll label it as A, and then it fits into our equation here. So we've got A, that's a bit of a rubbish A. There we go. I'm going to relabel this triangle, but with red pen, just for this second part. So if this is side A, then this is angle A. If this is, we can leave that as side B, this will be angle B. And then we'll relabel this as side C, and this will be angle C. Now the reason I've relabeled it is because uh, to find a missing side, when we've got the two other sides and the opposite angle, this is where we use the close angle, which again is on your formula sheet. And that is A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Take 2BC cos A. So because A is what we want to find, we've got A as a subject here, stick everything else in and we'll get to our final answer. So A squared is equal to B squared, and B is 10, so that's 10 squared, plus C squared, which is 8 squared. Take away 2 times B, which is 10, times C, which is 8, and then cos A, which is 79. So that will get us an answer for A squared, so type all that in. So 10 squared plus 8 squared, take away 2 times 10 times 8 times cos 79 is 133.47. So I'm going to keep that number in my calculator, I'm not going to round it just yet. To get from A squared to A, we want to square root both sides. So if we square root that answer that we have here, we'll get 11.5529, so on. And again, it does ask us to round, so I'll just do one decimal place, and that will be 11.6 centimetres as our final answer.